Morning chaps, welcome along to the vlog. Been a few days, hasn't it? But we're back again. Uh, I've been at work. I've just been pretty busy, so I've not really had time to pick up the camera. So uh, I've come in this morning. We've got cans. We've got canning machine. We don't yet have a seamer. I've given the whole brewery a big clean down as well over the weekend. And uh, it's now time to start getting ready to make some beer next week, maybe. Fingers crossed. There are a couple of jobs that need finishing off. I've just got to complete the garden project. We've got some steel arriving today. So when that gets here, I'm gonna to have to fabricate some railings. And I also wanna jet wash all the slabs. Folks, I'm sure you enjoyed those few clips we popped in there. Uh, a few things that we've been doing over the past week, really. Uh, prior to the update, I popped up online the other day. Uh, so last weekend, we sat in the garden and uh, in the beer garden just here, enjoyed a few bevies and fed the fish in the canal. That was quite fun. And uh, well, as you can see, we've been really busy with the railings, and we've pretty much got all the stonework complete. Stuart's just set up down here and he's doing some painting and uh, I've just had to reseat one slab which uh, moved on me but you can see we've got bolts secured into the ground and they really are pretty sturdy 
uh, once we've got the posts on top of them so I'll show you the uh, the bolts that we've used I could have used threaded bar but it was actually cheaper to buy these um, through bolts so that's what I went and did M10 through bolts drilled a 12 mil hole and cleaned it out with this little silver line pump could have brought the compressor around I suppose and then we went ahead and I bought some of this anchor set green 300 and this stuff turns out to be rock solid once it's gone off so if I go across here and show you a couple of areas where we had one or two mishaps so I start to blow the corner off here a little bit and you can see just under there that's the anchor set stuff that's actually harder than the concrete is um, so I'm pretty confident that this ain't going anywhere uh, these slabs are also really quite strong I managed to put four 12 mil holes into the corners pre-drilled of course with a smaller pilot but we've had no cracks whatsoever on any of them if I did this again then I'd probably mark out for the posts as one of the first things that I did and I'd set them into concrete and the posts would go through and then I'd cut corners out of the slabs to accommodate that but as it is it's worked the only one that's a little bit sketchy is maybe this one here because we've had a couple of cuts I mean it feels solid I mean I'm I can wobble on that in fact I can stand on the rail although I'm not going to be happy if I catch people doing it and it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere so I'm really pleased with how they've turned out they look really nice so I decided just to go for an elegant twist so we've got a single twist in the center then a double twist for this rail single twist double twist single twist double twist double twist and so on so if we look like kind of down the edge of it you can see what I mean it's quite elegant it's not over the top I thought if I'd have put as many baskets as I, as I did into it on the front rail then well one it's more expense and uh, that's it I can't spend any more money now and two it's really awkward to paint so uh, yeah save Stuart a job there I think we've got Mr Canoe coming along We've seen quite a few canoeists up and down. All right, bud. Yeah. Going up and down the canal recently. There he is, having a bit of fun in the canal. Anyway, I'm going to continue to uh, seat these posts and um, hopefully get these rails on. These ones are the ones that are on a slant, of course, because it has to kind of sit on this floor. So you can see on the bottom of this post here, that's been cut on an angle and it sits nicely just like that. Hopefully on top of these bolts of course, which it does. There we go. Keep her in frame you freak. Right then. Well I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to go through the archway with the uh, cup of tea in my Munton's mug that Stuart's just made for me bless him we've got some of the flowers that were salvaged the peonies are flowered Hebe, not so good hops well they're there, but not putting on much of a show this year I think maybe this soil's not very nice and they're not happy uh, we've got several complaints with Biffa, they've charged us for 13 lifts since we've been closed and they haven't actually made one since the day we got delivered the um, bin so we're in a dispute with them at the minute for the money back they lied let me just turn this music off there we go so I've managed to get you on a tripod I've got a DJI uh, Mimo 3 gimbal and um, I've just turned the music on and put you on so you'll notice the footage is a heck of a lot smoother 
while we do a little bit of a walk and talk around the brewery and tell you what's going on. So we've got, of course, the canning machine, the glorious canning machine. We're still waiting on the seamer. It's been a, well over a month since it was initially ordered and I'm really keen to get going with it. I've been in contact with the manufacturers though and they are just having issues with suppliers because of the COVID-19 epidemic as is everybody else I guess. Uh, in here we have um, six pack and four pack uh, lids recycled material for carry outs when we do uh, that kind of stuff we've got a pallet full of 440 mil cans with packing boxes and the lids themselves there uh, this is the steel what we've got left over from the manufacture of the railings next door you can see that I made a little bit of a mistake and some reason um, seven of these one inch by one inch twisted uh, purlins managed to find their way into my basket at the expense of £64 and I don't actually need them so they'll have to be used in another project to justify my little mistake there I've also been working on the lids for the fermenters because we do get a little bit of a leak in terms of um, CIP caustic when we clean in place and unfortunately uh, that means that the caustic tends to run down the side of the tank which uh, whilst not a major issue leads to things like this on the side of the tank so as you can see the problem here is we're going on a three millimeter oh actually it's 1.8 millimeter stainless steel um, end profile and that has to go up against this section here to create a seam so in the past I've tried to seal it on this bed here by actively in fact I welded one of these on quite a few of the tanks what would have been better is if this was actually right up to the top I suppose I could cut this little lip off come to think of it I could cut that lip off um, but then the lids would be too small because you'd want it to hang over down here. Anyway, um, yeah, it's one of those issues that we'll keep revisiting, but we've got some plumbers, mate, silicon in there, and some neoprene, and obviously both extremely waterproof and chemical-proof substances. So hopefully that'll work in terms of sealing them uh, for fermentation. I have used the neoprene on these fermenters, there's no problem that neoprene works a treat and on here we have the plumbers mate creating a seal for us in our boil kettle and there she is just sat with some rinse water in there waiting to be turned on really quite soon but first we have to do a big clean because we've got dust everywhere and um, before I do that uh, seeing as we've got a bit of downtime, uh, I'm really tempted to pop in a floor drain. I know a lot of people said it would come in, and I think they're right. So what I might be doing is starting around here somewhere with a concrete saw, a still saw, a Makita still saw actually, zipping all the way down here and terminating at this section here and then I think I'm going to have to also try and make this channel a bit deeper it's going to be a bigger job than I actually want it to be but if I do it now it's done if I plan it out now and do it while we're off work it's done I was hoping to brew this week but everything in my bones is telling me do the groundwork do the groundwork so I think if I do that, get a proper drainage channel in here, it will allow me to, uh, well, have a better working environment. I don't know, maybe it's the wrong time and I should get some beer on the go. So here's one of the bolts. I'll probably snap the brick off rather than pull the bolt out. So 
Let's set the camera up. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a time lapse for this one, and we'll get uh, get these railings all in position. Folks, a little bit of a time lapse there. I'm not sure if it worked actually, because I've not watched it back. So uh, if there isn't a time lapse, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> but yes, so today it's 20 past five. I'm going to call it a day. As you can see, there's a bit of a mess in here, but it's not as bad as it has been in the past. So I'm going to come in tomorrow. I'm going to tidy up and flick this light off behind me. I'm going to actually start brewing this week. I've decided now that I'm going to fire up the tanks um, tomorrow night. I'll put the HLT on. So all day tomorrow I've got to start cleaning the brewery up. Well, effectively I just need to clean the kit and these three tanks on this side. If I go to a bit of a wider angle, there we go, you'll see a little bit better there. Also somehow seems to pick up the corner of the gimbal there can you see that there we go I managed to push it out of view but it's on balance now so it'll be using more battery more quicker uh, but yes yeah, so that will need cleaning the kit will need cleaning sanitizing and if we come around here then I need to turn on the uh, cooler which is in that corner uh, we're not too bad over in this area, that's pretty cleaned up. Let's shoot next door and have a look how clean the beer garden is. We'll have Matt Hancock on the radio. The plonker. Right, so let me just, there's Gemma, hiding from the camera. Right, so I think I'm going to take some some little shots so you can see what we've got finished. Let me turn that soft cock off. Shut up. Uh, yeah, what well, do you want to do some posing? Feel free. You normally do. There we go. Stu's going to do some posing for us. So we'll do some arty shots. Hey, how's that? Can people see you from Canal still? I think they look pretty smart, don't they, these rails? Look at that. Yeah, I'm quite happy with them. And if we look down, oh, we're pretty straight. That's straight enough. It's as straight as you, isn't it, still? This way. Kind of. But, you know, the further back you get, the better they look. And then, of course... We've got the uh, angled ones now in position. Again, let's zoom back out to a little bit of a wide shot. That's better, isn't it? Does it justice now? So we're just waiting. Uh, I've got to point this wall up over here. But we're just waiting for uh, a bit of pointing. I've got to finish on the bottom. And then Stuart's going to paint all this render. We've got render over here. As you can see, I've cut all the coping stones ready to go on the top they're finished uh, you saw me attach that to the wall earlier on that's complete that's about it I think if we just come across here and come to the bench near the pizza place there we go that's not a bad looking beer garden now if I don't 
say so myself, or if I do say so myself, but even, anyway, I think that's enough waffle, you've seen what we've done, haven't they Gem, you can't avoid it you know, now how I've got the uh, wide angle lens on so it's picking up from there, <laughs> to there, right on, on that note, uh, we'll see you on the next one.